All right, what's up guys? So first off in the back work, I always start with a pull down variation. We're doing an underhand, closer grip, pull down here. I like underhand a lot. I feel it a lot in my lower back, um, lower lats specifically. And honestly, if you do this properly, you should feel it right along your whole back, including your uh, lower traps, mid back, and lower lats. So I love this movement. Just kind of bring the blood flow into the back and get you ready for your heavy compound, which is typically my second movement of my back workout. Secondly, we have a dumbbell barbell row. Now, when you do these guys, really make sure you see I'm stretching at the bottom, exploding back and bringing uh, that elbow back and really trying to stay um, bent over as much as possible. Obviously, I'm you know coming up just a little bit, but it shouldn't be extremely extreme. Extreme. <laughs> it shouldn't be extremely um, noticeable how much you're coming up when you row back. Uh, this is just from the other side, so you see what I'm talking about. At the bottom, you really, really want to make sure you stretch that lap. Third movement here, guys. We have a machine neutral grip row. Um, I really like this because for me, one of my lagging body parts would be my inner. Uh, lower traps. I just feel that area really needs a lot of improvement. So this is a great move to increase thickness and density of the upper to like you know the lower traps mid back. Uh, and you know again like I said that's my weakness. So I really want to include this in the back workout. I always include some of movement like this. And as you see at the bottom, I'm again stretching as much as possible. It really burns when you let that stretch out instead of just focusing on the contraction also focus on the negative when you do any movement so fourth movement here guys we have an underhand uh, pull down machine uh, I really like this machine because uh, depending where you sit on the machine is what you hit and the way I'm doing this in the video it's actually hitting my upper lats. Uh, we did, you know, we did the dumbbell rows and the underhand pull downs already that kind of target more of the lower lat. So now we're targeting the upper lat, and this is more of a thickness movement. Now, it doesn't have to be perfect, but as you see, I try and keep to the best of my abilities my chest against the pad for maximum contraction. And uh, if my face doesn't say it enough, they're pretty hard. <laughs> Fifth movement, we have dumbbell seated shrugs. Now, my friend Jake really liked these, so we did them in the routine, and I really like them. Uh, it pretty much takes out the momentum if you were standing, and honestly, momentum is the biggest enemy of muscle growth, and as I get more experience in the sport, I really, really respect that idea more and more, and really try and limit as much momentum as I can. So next onto biceps, guys, I keep biceps really basic, two movements post back workout, uh, even the movements very basic. So um, right here, we're just doing standing dumbbell alternate alternating curls. As you see, I have my shoulders rolled back. This is really important to take out the delt when you do any kind of curl. Make sure you roll those shoulders back to really just target and isolate the biceps. Uh, and I usually do these pretty much to failure every set, 45 second breaks in between. So for the last set of pretty much every bicep movement, I will also do a drop set. So you go to failure and then you drop the weight here. I dropped the weight in half. So I went from 40 pound dumbbells to the 20s and you just pretty much go again until failure. And I like to add these intensity techniques into my training all the time. Pretty much every body part, there's nothing that I don't like to ramp up the intensity when I can. Final movement of the workout and for biceps is I really like reverse cable curls for the forearms and long head of the biceps. I just really like the constant tension these give me and ever since I started implementing them into my workouts, my forearms have been exploding in size. So that was today's workout guys. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe for more content.